congratulations. Uh, you were one of two finalists for our internship program. It's highly competitive. Um, it came down to you and one other person and you and your resume and your experiences edged them out. So we would just like to say congratulations. Before we get started, I'm John. I'm gonna be your orientation leader for Outdoor Sportsman Group. Um, and we're gonna give you an overlay, overview of your life as an intern. So um, just to introduce what we're doing, today we're gonna go over timing in and out, uh, daily activities, your general responsibilities, expectations we have for you as an intern, and kind of what you're gonna be doing on a day-to-day -day basis, um, as well as the expected dress code. So starting off with clocking in and out, one of the most important things, especially as an intern, um, you're capped at 25 hours a week. So we can only give you 25 hours. Um, you can do less and you can do up to 25 hours, but you can't go over. Um, so that's a big thing for us. So anytime you come into the office, just clock in as soon as you get in and make sure that you don't get paid without for work that you're doing, or you don't not get paid for work that you're doing, excuse me. Um, and then make sure that we keep an accurate log of your hours. Um, anytime you leave, whether it's for lunch or at the end of the day, make sure to clock out because that's a huge part of keeping track of your hours per week. Um, and again, 25 hours is the max. Um, in the event that you do forget to clock out, it happens. It's happened to all of us. Uh, it happened to me when I was an intern. Um, you just email the payroll department and let them know exactly when you left and they'll correct it on your, on your check and on your time card. Um, that's all available through ADP. We'll give you a login for that uh, once you get started on your first official day. Um, and it'll give you a login, password, you can change the password if you don't want, if you're not able to remember it or if you want to make it easier for yourself. Um, but that's how we're going to be doing that, we're going to go through that. Um, next up, once you clock in, you're all set, put your jacket down, coat down, whatever. Um, we're going to go on to your day-to-day -day activities, so that's going to consist of, on Mondays, you're going to come up with a, uh, a weekly report based on the, uh, the news hits or the media hits that we have online using a pro our program called Cision. Um, it's a pretty prominent program in, in the business world. Um, if you have experience, great. If not, we'll go over that with you when we get started. Um, but essentially what you're gonna do is it, it compiles a list of you, for you of all of the media hits that we've produced over the past, in this case, week. Um, and you'll kind of sift through and pick out things that don't necessarily pertain to Outdoor Sportsman Group or are tagged because of certain words that are in there but don't actually have anything to do with us. Um, and then once you've done that, you convert it to a PDF uh, or from a PDF to a Word document. And then you go in and you add links to all of the top articles. Um, it's, it'll, it's very simple once you sit down and you do it. Um, but that's pretty much that, what that's going to consist of. Once you finish that, you send that off to your supervisor in an email along with any links that you found particularly interesting or ones that made a particular impact in a, in a specific uh, market. And those will be sent off to your supervisor. Um, they'll get those and if they feel the need, pass it along to the rest of the company. Or if not, it'll just be kept for their records. Um, I suggest keeping all of those reports um, just for backlogging things. So in case there's ever a situation where, oh, did this go out on this day or did this release pop out? You have a record of it. Um, those reports will also be done monthly, so at the end of every month you'll compile. You'll do the same thing as weekly, just expand the date range to a month. Um, so once you finish that uh, on Mondays, you'll go into your picking your weekly releases, and uh, that kind of consists of going through the quarterly, uh, the quarterly press release uh, priority list. Um, excuse me, I couldn't find a word for a second. Um, so we have a priority list that we give you every quarter, and from that you'll choose uh, any show from any of our three networks, Outdoor Channel, Sportsman Channel, World Fishing Network, as well as our mobile uh, subscription service to write an episodic or release about a certain show that kind of gives audiences something to look forward to, or readers something to look forward to. Um, and once you do that, you can put together a list, a schedule um, for your supervisor just for so they can keep everything straight, you can keep everything straight. Um, just create a template, it's very simple, week to week, we kind of change, we work one week ahead. So you'll write, the releases you'll be writing, let's say this week, will go out the following week. Um, that's a big thing for us and keeping track of everything is, is a huge thing. So organization is paramount. Um, those releases are gonna be one page and they're gonna be complete with a boilerplate and your contact information at the bottom. So this is a sample release. Um, this was done this past March. Um, and the date is the date that it will be sent out to everyone. Uh, so all of our outlets and such that will distribute it for us. Um, 
and the boilerplates at the bottom and the contact at the bottom. So those are just the three main, main things that you want to keep in mind. Um, in terms of just miscellaneous information that we have for you, um, distribution lists will come up from time to time from your supervisor. It'll be compiling something for a certain DMA or designated marketing area, um, all the outlets from a certain spot, and that'll be an Excel document. I suggest making a template um, just so that you don't have to create a new document every time. You can just kind of take out whatever the names of the cities were, or whatever the names of the outlets were, and kind of rework everything as you go, rather than having to go through the process of creating a whole new template. Um, for the projects that you're given, for example, a, uh, this past year we had a documentary submitted to the Sports Emmys. Um, you just want to make sure that everything's double, like double check everything's spelled correctly, all the grammar is correct, because that is going to a professional source and you are in a prof professional environment. So that's extremely important to us that everything is double checked. Um, and the last thing we want to leave you with is mistakes happen. Um, you know, it's, everyone makes them, it's fine. Uh, the, the important thing is to take it in stride and make sure to learn from it and make sure it doesn't happen again. Um, we had a situation this past spring with a, uh, a show premiere where the information in the release that we put out was not correct. Um, and that posed an issue, an issue because that was a big release for us and it was a situation where an intern forgot or didn't receive the correct information. So always double check all the information you have, always inf double check all the spelling, grammar, everything, just to make sure that you have it. Um, and lastly, we just want to welcome you to the, uh, the family. The dress code is business casual. Um, pretty much you can wear something similar to this. Um, you know, button down, dress pants, slacks, khakis, all work. Um, dress shoes would be preferred. Um, and if there's ever a reason to dress more formally, um, the supervisor will let you know. But that pretty much does it for us. Um, do you have any questions? All right. So we just wanted to thank you for your attention, and it's wonderful to have you on board.